Chip War. The Fight for the World's Most Critical Technology by Chris Miller is a comprehensive exploration of the history, geopolitics, and economics surrounding semiconductor chips. These tiny components are the backbone of modern technology, powering everything from smartphones and computers to cars and military systems. Miller's book delves into the development of this crucial technology, the intense global competition it has sparked, and its profound implications for national security and global power dynamics. Overview and background. The book begins by tracing the origins of semiconductor technology. It highlights key inventors and companies that played pivotal roles in the early days of chip development. Semiconductors, which are materials that can conduct electricity under certain conditions, are the foundation of integrated circuits or microchips. These microchips are essentially the brains of modern electronic devices. The story of semiconductors starts in the mid 20th century with the invention of the transistor at Bell Labs in 1947. This breakthrough paved the way for the development of more complex integrated circuits. The early chapters cover the transition from individual transistors to integrated circuits, which allowed for the miniaturization and increased power of electronic devices. The rise of Silicon Valley, Miller then shifts his focus to Silicon Valley, which became the epicenter of semiconductor innovation. He profiles key figures such as Gordon Moore and Robert Noyce, who co-founded Intel. Moore's law, which predicted the doubling of transistors on a chip approximately every two years, is a central theme. This prediction not only held true for several decades, but also drove the relentless pace of innovation and competition in the semiconductor industry. Silicon Valley's culture of entrepreneurship, risk-taking, and collaboration is explored in depth. The region's unique ecosystem of universities, venture capital, and startup companies fostered an environment where semiconductor technology could rapidly advance. Companies like Intel, Fairchild Semiconductor, and Texas Instruments were instrumental in pushing the boundaries of what chips could do. The globalization of chip manufacturing. As the demand for semiconductors grew, so did the complexity of their production. Miller explains how chip manufacturing evolved from small-scale operations to massive, highly specialized fabrication facilities, FABs. The costs associated with building and operating these FABs skyrocketed, leading to the globalization of chip production. Countries like Japan, South Korea, and Taiwan became major players in the semiconductor industry. Miller details the rise of companies like TSMC, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, and Samsung, which have become dominant forces in chip manufacturing. These companies specialize in producing chips designed by other firms, a business model known as fabless manufacturing. The geopolitics of semiconductors. The heart of chip war lies in its analysis of the geopolitical implications of semiconductor technology. Miller argues that control over chip production has become a critical aspect of national security. Countries recognize that having access to cutting-edge semiconductors is essential for maintaining technological superiority, economic power, and military strength. The book explores how the United States, China, and other nations are vying for dominance in the semiconductor industry. The U.S. has long been a leader in chip design and innovation but its manufacturing capabilities have declined relative to other countries. This shift has raised concerns about supply chain vulnerabilities and the potential for geopolitical conflicts. China's ambitions. One of the most pressing issues Miller addresses is China's ambitious plan to become self-sufficient in semiconductor technology. The Chinese government has invested billions of dollars in developing its semiconductor industry, aiming to reduce its reliance on foreign chips. Miller examines the challenges and progress of China's efforts, as well as the implications for global competition. China's Made in China 2025 Inches initiative specifically targets semiconductors as a key area for domestic development. However, achieving self-sufficiency has proven difficult due to the complexity of chip manufacturing and the entrenched position of leading companies in the US, Taiwan, and South Korea. Despite these challenges, China's push has led to increased tensions and a potential decoupling of global supply chains. The U.S. Response In response to China's ambitions, the United States has taken steps to bolster its own semiconductor industry. Miller details the efforts to bring chip manufacturing back to American soil through government incentives, private investments, and collaborations with allies. 
The U.S. aims to maintain its edge in chip design while securing its supply chains. One notable initiative is the Chips for America Act, which seeks to provide funding and support for domestic semiconductor manufacturing and research. The U.S. government recognizes that maintaining leadership in this critical technology is essential for both economic competitiveness and national security. The role of Europe and other players. While the U.S. and China are the main protagonists in the chip war, Miller also discusses the roles of other regions, including Europe, Japan, and South Korea. Each of these areas has its own strategies and challenges in the semiconductor arena. For instance, Europe has strengths in semiconductor equipment manufacturing and is home to companies like ASML, which produces advanced lithography machines crucial for chip production. Japan, once a leader in semiconductor manufacturing, has seen its influence wane but remains a key player in materials and equipment. South Korea, with companies like Samsung and SK Hynix, continues to be a major producer of memory chips and other semiconductors. Future Trends and Challenges The book concludes with a look at the future of the semiconductor industry. Miller discusses emerging technologies such as quantum computing, artificial intelligence, and advanced materials that could revolutionize chip design and manufacturing. These advancements hold the potential to disrupt the current landscape and create new opportunities and challenges. Miller also highlights the ongoing need for innovation in semiconductor manufacturing processes. As chips become more complex, the cost and difficulty of producing them continue to rise. Companies and countries must invest in research and development to overcome these hurdles and stay competitive. Key Takeaways Chip War by Chris Miller provides a detailed and engaging narrative about the semiconductor industry, emphasizing its critical importance to modern technology and geopolitics. The book highlights several key takeaways. Semiconductors are the backbone of modern technology. They are essential for a wide range of applications, from consumer electronics to military systems. Silicon Valley's culture of innovation. The region's unique ecosystem fostered rapid advancements in semiconductor technology. Globalization and specialization. The semiconductor industry has become highly globalized, with different regions specializing in various aspects of chip production. Geopolitical competition. Control over semiconductor technology is a key aspect of national security and economic power, leading to intense competition between countries. China's ambitions and challenges. China's efforts to achieve self-sufficiency in semiconductors have significant implications for global supply chains and competition. The U.S. Response The United States is taking steps to strengthen its semiconductor industry and secure its supply chains. Future Trends Emerging technologies and ongoing innovation are crucial for the future of the semiconductor industry. Chip War is an essential read for anyone interested in understanding the complex and dynamic world of semiconductors and their profound impact on technology, economics, and global power structures.